Hey, what's up, y'all? Classic Kev, back with another episode. Honestly, probably the most important episode yet. All right, y'all, on today's episode, I wanted to give you a little update on the mutant NFT project I invested in. You know, guys, the one that's building an NFT marketplace and is gonna give the holders of the project 50% of the revenue that's brought in from the NFT marketplace. I mean, come on, guys, use your imagination how much OpenSea.io or, you know, JPEG.store is making right now, y'all. So, you know, we need more of these marketplaces. And as far as utility is concerned in an NFT project, this is this is definitely in my top three this year that I'm most excited about. So whenever I invest in an NFT project, guys, and I make videos like this, I always reach out to the team. Now, guys, you know, these NFT teams, hey, they're busy, right? They're busy working on these projects. I'm a small YouTube channel, so I never take it personal if they can't come on. But but I reached out to my boy Andy here. He's the project manager and the founder of Epoch Art, the NFT marketplace. And Andy hit me right back and agreed to jump on a Discord call with me. So y'all, so I'm always appreciative when, when you know, teams, because this shows me a lot that they care about their community and they stand behind the project that they're working on. So I wanted to reach out to Andy to find out a little bit more about this marketplace and what we can expect. So guys, this is what I got for you. So um, basically what Andy said is, you know, the marketplace is, it's being built and it's actually real close. You know, they're in their test net now and you can actually go on the site now, guys, and just go check it out for yourself. Really clean look, really clean design. It definitely looks like a professionally done website. Now, I don't have a big computer science or coding background, but the way I view these sites is like an aggregator, right? Think of like a hotels.com or a hotel booking site, right? You can book your hotel, your flight, and your rental car all in one spot because it's aggregating all the information off the internet into one place and they're making, you know, a little fee to do that. So that's kind of what these NFTs are, you know, they're they're aggregating the data off the Cardano blockchain into a website where you can buy, sell, and trade your NFT. So Really innovative stuff, y'all. And honestly, all the, I've never seen an NFT with this utility. So um, me and Andy talked about the site and we talked about some of the roadmap and the challenges this project's gonna face. And um, and guys, I love transparency, right? And if you, I, I highly recommend reading this Medium article because he talk, they talk about uh, the roadmap of the project. And one of the things they talk about is to distribute 50% of the total marketplace income to, to the collection holders. Now, this actually creates a small legal problem, right? Because the SEC, you know, th these new industries, the SEC doesn't really know how to how to brand these entities, right? NFTs, right? And you don't want to get branded as a security. So by paying the holders directly, the SEC could flag it as a security. And guys, you, the last thing you want is an NFT investigating a, a project in. So it's real good foresight that they looked into this and came up with a really creative solution. I'm going to tell you what it is. So let's start by understanding what the definition of a security, the difference between a security and an asset, right? Because these NFTs, they're assets, right? Crypto is an asset. It is not a security. So guys, the term security, and this is right off of Investopedia, y'all. The term security re refers to a fungible, negotiable financial instrument, right? Guys, NFTs are non-fungible instruments, non-fungible tokens, right? So here's the workaround. Now, the SEC and the Fed does not care if you're staking your Cardano and earning crazy amounts of yield or staking your Ethereum or staking your Terra Luna and earning yield. The SEC is not worried about that. Let me tell you what the SEC and the Fed is worried about. The SEC and the Fed is worried about people staking uh, stable coins and earning, you know, these 9%, 10% yields on stable coins. The reason why they're worried about that is because it directly competes with the bond market. So by directly competing with the bond market, guys, without bonds, that's the, that's the country's infrastructure, right? So the SEC is going to protect the country's infrastructure. And I'm not here to say that that's right or wrong, right? I'm just telling you what's kind of going on. So you don't want to be deemed a security. And crypto or crypto assets and NFTs or non-fungible tokens are assets. So here's the workaround. And I thought this was really creative. So what Andy said they're going to do is allow you to stake your NFT through their site, right? And by staking the NFT, you are going to earn yield on that, right? But you're going to earn the 50% of the revenue. That's their creative workaround they came up with. Personally, I thought this was brilliant. And I think it was really good forward thinking to avoid any roadblocks. And I love that they were transparent about this, about this plan. And I really appreciated that. Now, I'll say this. 
I was thinking about it. The what uh, like what kind of money we can make? Well, I hold three of it, right, y'all. So whatever we can make, I'm getting it times three. So this project, I still think, is super undervalued, y'all. Because when this marketplace goes live and that passive income starts coming in, I expect the floor to skyrocket. Seriously, y'all. And then also. I think a lot of people won't stake this project. And you're probably wondering why. Well, it's because, guys, if this project is generating some serious passive income per month, you could probably get a two-year multiplier on selling it, meaning that however much passive income it makes per month, say if it makes 1000 a month, times 24. You know, and a long-term investor, long-term investors love cash flow. They love passive income. So this NFT is actually going to get traded a lot because – People are going to want to pay to get that passive income from you, right? So I, I think this is really cool, y'all. And, you know, as far as what Andy says, you know, the, the, this is the ground floor, right? So when you hear of projects getting in at the ground floor, or, man, I wish I would have gotten Bored Apes. I wish I would have gotten CryptoPunks at the ground floor. Well, as far as Cardano NFTs, this is the ground floor. And I want you to think about something, y'all. You're getting paid these residuals in Cardano, Correct. Cardano is like around what, like between a dollar and a dollar fifty right now. It's fluctuating. Imagine when Cardano Cardano's fifty dollars a coin, when Cardano's a hundred dollars a coin. Yo, Cardano is just a newer blockchain in Ethereum. As its market cap grows, the price of the coin will grow, right? Just like Ethereum. One time Ethereum was three hundred dollars a coin. You know, two hundred, five hundred dollars a coin, right? The price slowly rises as the use case in Cardano's ecosystem grows, the market cap grows. So guys, so right now, this thing's running around 300 ADA. This might be a steal. Now, you know, the markets, you know, can go either way, but guys, I'd rather, it's like musical chairs. I'd rather be in this thing early and got my seat before the music stops because when people figure this out, the floor of this thing, I seriously think it could skyrocket. Y'all, not financial advice, of course, but anyway, y'all, so shout out to uh, the, the NFT team. So shout out to the, uh, the Mutant NFT team. Shout out to Epoch Art team. Shout out to Andy for helping me make this video, guys. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments. Uh, are you excited about this project? Let me know what you think. Anyway, y'all, I'm Classic Kev. I'm out. Peace.